Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. I've been waiting for this video for quite some time and I finally got the time to do it. Let's cut straight to the chase. Super rare Ruger American Alaskan in 338 Win Mag, right on three primal. Banish 338 Shisher Machine. What else? I took to the range my Caldwell Stinger Wrist. And the whole point of today's video is testing out 338 Win Mag Boo Lights factory loadings to see if I could find what this Ruger American 338 Win Mag likes the best. One of the most expensive videos I've done in quite some time. But hey, uh, we do this with every bang bang we get in. We get all the factory loadings that we can find. We sling them through it, and then I measure the groups here on film. But let me show you the factory boo lights that I got for this Ruger American in 338 Win Mag. Check it out. I was able to get my hands on four different factory loadings. Check it out. Remington, Core Locked, Deadliest Mushroom in the Woods. These are 225 grain PSPs. Let me show you one quick. If you didn't know, PSP stands for pointed soft point. Give you a quick look there. Lead tipped, core locked. Most of y'all probably familiar with the core lock. That's one out of four. Then I found some Federal Fusion. Also a 225 grain. Federal Fusion is another similar looking lead tip. Check that out. That was number two. Then we also got some Federal Premium 225 grain of the Trophy Copper. Let me show you what these look like. Big money, money, money. That's what that's what all these boxes are saying to me. These are tipped. Those Federal Trophy Coppers it's got that black tip on there. 225 with the Remington. 225 with the Fusion. These are also 225. 225 grain seems to be the sweet spot when it comes to 338 Win Mag, eh? And then finally, these are some Normas. Norma USA. Uh, 230 grain of their Oryx. Boom. And let me give you a look, see what these look like. Also a lead tip. So we got three lead tips and one of those uh, black tipped trophy coppers. But hey, let's go to the range and see what does the best out of my Ruger American Alaskan 338 Win Mag. It's a big boy. Check it out. We'll come back and measure the groups. Should be a whole lot of fun. Remington Core Locked 338 Wind Mag. Federal Fusion. Uh, probably about a two inch group. We'll let it hang out for a minute and I'll try the next one. Alright, next is this Federal Trophy Copper. 225 green. Now we're going to let it cool and we got one more to try, the Norma. And here's the Norma. Not 
bad. I will go back and measure those groups. All right, so back from the ranch, let me tell you, suppressed 338 wind mag is awesome. There were two old timers there. Uh, they thought it was pretty cool how quiet 338 wind mag was. But, um, yeah, that thing's a whole lot of fun. Putting the can on that takes the sound out of it and a bunch of the recoil. But, I gotta confess to you. I did, I've got two groups of the Remington Core Locked, and then I only did one group of each one of these. Normally, I mean, obviously, the more data we have, the better. There are so many factors that go into getting good groups. Your squeeze on the trigger. Was there a bug flying by? Did you have sweat in your eye? Were you lined up straight or were you lined up crooked? Did you have the scope canted? So on and so forth. Were you in a bad mood that day? So, generally speaking, uh, I like to do a bunch of groups. Um, when we do 22LR, we'll do three or four groups of every factory loading. When we do the other center fire stuff, 30 out 6, 270, I might do two of everything if I can. This stuff is big money stuff. Uh, I didn't do a whole ton of groups, but I can tell you I was very confident in every trigger squeeze and took my time. And we let the thing cool and all that. While it was cool and I just hung out with the old cats at the range and they told me stories and told me about all their stuff. Anyways, let's look at the groups here real quick. Remington Core Locked. Two groups I said I had for this one. A 1.25 inch group and a 1.44. So not quite under the 1 inch group yet. Then what we get? Then the Federal Fusion, 2.08 inch group right here. Eee, not that good. And it is in a circle. Then the Federal Trophy Copper. I've had that stuff in 300 wind mag and it did terrible. Well, guess what? My 338 wind mag, it also does terrible. 2.18 inch group. I mean, I wouldn't even deer hunt with that at 100 yards with groups over 2 inches, but that's just me. Uh, but the winner today, guys, was that Norma Oryx, the uh, only one that was a 230 grainer. So those Core Locks, Federal Fusion, and the Federal Trophy Copper are all 225 grains. The Norma Oryx is a .97. That's the only group that we got under an inch, 0.97 in the normal Oryx. And then the two Federals were over two inch groups. So, uh, I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a part two video and we're gonna compete with the Remington Core Lock to the 1.25 and then put it head to head with that normal stuff and see what we can do. Maybe uh, second time we'll, we'll go on a bipod with the bag Make sure it's a calm day and all that stuff. But hey, 338 wind mag. I, I started to flex like I had some muscles to show you or something. I don't. But <laughs> but this thing does. Super, super excited to find this thing. Glad we finally got to take it out to the range. Uh, I love it. I mean, it's pretty much your standard Ruger American. I need to clean the stock up. Uh, but I said it in the, in the previous video. I took this thing apart. I torqued to spec everything. I did notice, though, after I got home, and I don't know how well you're going to be able to see it in the video, the stock is not perfectly fit. And it actually is rubbing on the barrel right there. So before I go to the range next time, I'm just going to take this stock and I'm going to wear it out a little bit. Just so it's not touching the barrel. Um... And see if that helps it out at all. But I torqued the rail to spec. I torqued my rings perfectly. I torqued these. You know, that thing and that thing. Torqued it all. 
uh, to what it's supposed to be at. But a lot of people talk about, oh, the barrel's touching the stock, and that just makes it terrible. Uh, yeah, it can, but did it did it make our groups, would it get our groups from over two inches with those Federals down to half inch? Probably not. Uh, but just one more thing to make sure that we're doing our, what's the word, our best, our due diligence in squeezing the best precision groups out of this 338 wind mag that we can. Um, cost a whole lot of moolahs with this 338 wind mag. It's, it's six or seven dollars every time we squeeze a trigger. But uh, that's what we pick it up for. Just so we can fling it through these bang bangs and make the videos on them. But hey, appreciate y'all watching. I'm going to try to take a deer with this uh, this coming year. And it should be a whole lot of fun. But hey, appreciate y'all watching. Stay tuned. I'm going to do a part two of this sometime soon. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you go to hootiehoo.com. Sign up for the newsletter. There's a bunch of really cool and fun stuff coming out on that. Giveaways and all kind of stuff. Appreciate y'all watching. Make sure you're subscribed. Tell me in the comments what do you think about 338 Wind Mag. Appreciate y'all. We'll see y'all on the next one. Hootie hoo. Load it up.